kind of the spike. Yeah. Maybe stole a page out of his book, maybe a little bit, but it's spur of the moment. What was happening in your mind on that final play? I, at first, I didn't really think he caught it. I thought he trapped it, but then I saw the umpire come up with the out, and then honestly, all that was replaying in my mind was the, the play a few weeks ago against Stanford when Fordo did the Yang their exact same thing. And it was it said this was like a one hopper instead of a two hopper. And thank God, because if it's a two hopper, I just get there in time. But it was right on the money. And uh, I mean, I just looked it all the way in to make sure I applied the tag. <laughs> what were some of the emotions going on in the field there for both teams afterwards? Oh, I mean, you know, finish like that. There's like a high level of emotion going on. And, uh, I don't know. They probably didn't like that spike the ball on them, which is understandable. But I was just juiced that we, you know we won and. Uh, we were in a tough spot to lead off the inning with a double, and Dan worked his way out of it with the guy in third for the second inning in a row, so I was just juiced. When you could see the ball come, I mean, what were you thinking as that ball? I mean, it was perfectly on the line, so uh, I knew we had a good shot because he came in the whole way, so it wasn't all that deep. And Ford has got a pretty strong arm, so, you know, I was just ready ready for the play, whatever, uh, you know, what might happen, and uh, luckily he put it right on the mark. How close was it? Did you think, did you think he was definitely out? Yeah, I, I thought the ball beat him by, by a step and a half, two steps. So. Senior day, Civil War win. I mean, does it get better than this? I don't know if it could get much sweeter than this. I mean, other than being in Omaha, I don't know. This is about as good as it gets in the regular season. So, that was a pretty sweet one. Given what happened last year, you guys really put them on the ropes. Reverse the situation, maybe steal the championship from them. How's that feel? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like last year we were like kind of playing defensively. Like we, we were just like, okay, we just have to win one game instead of really, you know, put the pressure on the opponent like we had done all season. And I think maybe the roles have reversed, you know, a little bit. And they're saying, okay, if we can get one or two, then we're gonna win instead of you know going after us. I don't know if that's what they're doing or not, but uh, I know we're just in full attack mode and. You know, that's how, that's how you win baseball games. So. Jason, that is nice stuff. You know, it was moving all over the joint, but I, he, he couldn't locate it like he usually does. And maybe that is partly because of the movement. But, uh, um, yeah, the last couple starts for Wetzler and for Jace, just said they haven't really had their A stuff, which, I mean, is a testament to, you know, how good they can be because they haven't really given up a ton of runs. But, uh, you know, I got no question he'll be better next time he goes out of the lines. Nick really somebody you thought would come in today and the game winning RBI? I mean, if you told me that before the game, I'd say you're crazy. But when Coach Case put him up there, I just had a good feeling. He he really hits the ball hard in BP, and uh, you know this team's got a lot of confidence in that kid. Uh, and when he came up in that situation, I was you know, I think everybody on the team was just right behind him, had his back, and he put a great swing on it, hit the ball hard. And thank God he did. You ever been called to hit from the bathroom? <laughs> Um, then called the catch from the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. All right.